Hello, let's talk about thermal modeling using Orcut designs, Orcut from Cadence. This is the test board which comes with a test installation and what we have to do is of course doing the output or the export and we should know the size of the board. Let's start with the size. The lower left corner is more or less here. You see the coordinate there. Let me write down the left margin at minus 25.7, the right at 100.4, the lower one at a minus 4.6, and the top at 111.5, all in millimeters. Next step is to export the data. We go top down, start with the Gerber files, select all, OK. Next is to export the drill files. We should check leading or trailing zeros, one of both, then maybe enhanced Exelon format. And here, auto tool select, this is important. And separate files for plated, non plated, this is optional. And we start the drill export. Next file is the IPC netlist. We just keep the defaults. And we should export the IDF data to get the placement of the components. This is now done. Next step will be to open the TRM and to create a TRM project. I did prepare that. Uh, this is the name of the project and some title and text. Next step is to create the size of the board. This is more or less what we got from the Orcut design. Doesn't matter whether it's a decimal millimeters or not. Next step will be to get the Gerbers, etc. and move it into the project directory. This can be done very easily using extra open folder of model. I'm now adding all the files. Gerber, drill files, IPC, and uh, IDF files. Okay, let's start. Adding the layer stack, it's a six layer board, and we create a empty board with six layers. And now fill, the, fill in the Gerber files. This is now done. For the demo, it doesn't matter whether the order is correct. We add some thickness values in microns, precise values are not of interest, and we have to transfer the Gerber files into something calculable, which means nodes, and this is done using expose. This is the original Gerber on the left and the exposed picture on the right. And we have to do this for all layers and this can be done by exp expose all layout layers. Now we have three-dimensional setup. The top layer, L1, L2, L3, 4, 5, 6. Next step is to add the drill files. The type of the drill files is Excelon, and we have three. File number one is the through hole file. The technology is through hole, they are plated and maybe plated with 20 microns of copper. 
we have to convert them. There is no indication about the position of the decimal point in this integer string, but we know from the log file that it's five decimals. And this is the control picture of the drilled holes. And they are now in a list of plated through holes from number one to number 1466. It's possible to parameterize each in hole individually or delete it. Next step maybe are the non-plated. Non-plated. Let's have a look whether there is some entry. Okay. Four plated holes. They are through hole. They are non-plated and convert. And this is the result. And finally, the blind and buried. From layer three to layer four, they are blind and we have to give the drill depth in terms of the integer value in the layer stack between three and four, it's from five to seven. And they are plated, of course, and 25, and we convert. And the image is empty. The image is empty because the holes are out of the frame of the board. If you are an experienced reader, one, two, three, four, five, it's 165, 165 millimeters in Y. And the board size is 111, so they are outside. And they are not created. Next step is to add the IDF data for the placement. The component file is called BDF and the library file is called LDF. And we just take the defaults and convert. We've got some errors. Now the components are listed in our loads list. The loads list contains the rafters, position, size, etc., top and bottom, and later we will assign some watts to some components. The no rafters can be deleted now, and the rest of the strange components we will identify later. Next step is to import the IPC data, which means the netlist and the pads and the pins. The file is called .ipc. And we convert. We want to import into the loads list. Is a huge amount of data. And behind the components, we have the net list, starting with net name, tilde, ref des, dash, pin number. And there are a lot of unassigned net names, ground, etc., etc. And this is the place to assign watts or volts to the nets. Let's do a save and we have again a view at the 3D plot. This is the drill forest and make it transparent. 
Here we see in color the pads if they are not hidden by components. The components are look oversized, that's because the board is thin and the size of the component follows the same vertical stretching factor. Another way of looking at the, the pads is using the loads table. On the left hand side we have a display of the top layer and we can filter for the top components and if we zoom in we see a colored bunch of circles. This one is the 2.5 volt net component uh, C176 pad number one and the color here matches the colors in the table. And we now try to add some test values. For example, for U2, we assign a test power of 2 watts. The 2 watts will also appear in the list. I can search for the value watt not equal 0. And this is U2. And I will try to bring in some current, for example a test current from here to here. This is net n etc. Let's have a test value of 1 amp here and another test value of minus 1 amp there, which means that the sum of currents in a net is 0. That's all for the test. Do a test searching for ampere values not equal zero and this is just the two positions on SMD top. Next step is to calculate. We assume a lab situation at 20 degrees Celsius and standard free convection. Before we start the solution, we should take care about this bits and pieces. This is inductor L4 and it has got a height of 2000 millimeters, which is 2 meters. Maybe there's a bug in the Arcot design and we have to repair it just to be sure to get correct results. We go back to loads and search for a height of 2000 and replace the 2000 by a reasonable value. And to repair it, I select them, change cell values and take a new value of 20 millimeters. Let's have a look at the three-dimensional view. And that's not perfect, but much better. Let us save and start the calculation. Just a logbook note. First test, 2 watts and 1 amp. Starting with some warnings outside of the out of outside of the board, which is obviously this stuff here. The electric situation has already been calculated. We have a joule heat of 156 milliwatts. The preliminary results of the electric situation can be viewed while calculating the temperature. This is the voltage drop in the test trace or the test net. There's nothing else in the other layers. We have a current density associated with it and we have a net color associated. The net color indicates 
which nodes are truly calculated using electric data. And we have just have to wait until the temperature iteration is done. This is now the case. We have reached the thermal equilibrium out of total power 1, 2.156 watts, 2 watts from the component, 156 milliwatts from the, from the trace, are leaving almost by 100% the board. And we can watch the results. The temperature plot, for example, the top component was about 40 degrees Celsius. And here we see bits of treat, trace heating. We are looking through the component into the layers. And finally, watching the bottom layer. We can also see the heat flux vector, where the heat is going. We see a little bit of heat flowing there, and of course in the heat sources. Massive heat flux in the inner layers. No heat flux over the trenches. All of this has consequences for the shape of the isotherms. We also have a report file telling us the results by numbers. For example, what is the heat flux in and out of components, the heat flux in and out of pads, and the distribution of joule heating in the various layers. Here, of course, we only have heating in layer 1 and in net number n1, etc. Memory usage was about 3 gigabyte for the temperature and almost nothing for the voltage. Thank you for watching and take a test installation. Goodbye.